We've got benchmarks for AMD's upcoming Ryzen 3 2300X and Ryzen 5 2500X, a look at Intel's first 10 nanometer chip in Cascade Lake X, yet another HEDT platform. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Gamer Melt. It's funny what AMD has done to CPUs in as little as one year. I've got to call the Ryzen 5 2500X a 4-core 8-thread CPU mid-range for a consumer CPU. Hell, at this point, it's nearly the low end. I mean, it was just last year that Intel's top-of-the-line CPU was 8 threads. Of course, this isn't to downplay AMD's 4-core CPUs. The beauty of things moving so fast is that even now, not many video games utilize them. At least it's not perfectly scaled, so 4-core CPUs are still extremely viable, especially when we're talking the added benefit of multi-threading. With this brings us today's first story. We have leaked benchmarks from Geekbench on AMD's second generation Ryzen 2500X and Ryzen 2300X CPUs. First up is the 4-core 8-thread Ryzen 5 2500X. It's shown to have a base clock of 3.6 GHz and a boost of 4.0. That's definitely not bad, and there's a possibility for more with AMD's new Boost technology. In the benchmark, it's shown to have 8MB of L3 cache, but I believe that's wrong, considering the 1500X had 16, so we'll just chop that up to a Geekbench error for now. Next is the Ryzen 3 2300X, which is a 4-core 4 4-thread 4 CPU with a base clock of 3.5GHz and a boost of, once again, 4GHz. And this one comes with 8MB of L3 cache. While we don't have a release date yet, I definitely expect them pretty soon, so gamers on a budget, make sure to watch out for these. Next up for today, Tech Insight looks to have gotten their hands on Intel's first 10 nanometer CPU. For those who don't remember, I reported on the CPU, which was spotted in a Lenovo IdeaPad not too long ago. Well, now they have it in their hands, and we've got more information. First up, it does look like Intel was able to get their 2.7 times density target for the transition from 14 nanometer to 10, which is certainly a feat in and of itself, though it was clearly a difficult one. According to ComputerBase, the CPU's integrated GPU has 40 execution units instead of the current 24, which makes for an increase of 70%. With that said, the graphics processor doesn't actually work. Instead, it uses a dedicated AMD graphics card, probably due to the low yields on 10 nanometer right now. Still though, we're talking a 70% increase in GPU processing with an 11% decrease in overall size, which certainly means Intel's 10 nanometer process can deliver. Let's just hope they can actually deliver before 2050. Lastly for today, while I've already covered Intel's confirmation of a Coffee Lake S refresh, they didn't stop there. The company also plans to refresh their Skylake X CPUs with what seems to be support for their X299 chipset. That's kind of great news, but it gets a little confusing. While it would mean you can upgrade to the new Skylake X refresh, which has been confirmed to include a 22-core CPU, it doesn't mean you'll be able to get that 28-core CPU Intel showed off at Computex. No, apparently Intel has decided that their SKUs aren't complicated enough and is bringing a whole new high-end desktop line, along with newer Skylake X CPUs. Called Cascade Lake X, it includes 24 and 28-core CPUs so far and will have its own chipset, with all the crazy RAM possibilities we saw from the 28-core demo. So yeah, while it does make sense, given the size of the chip and different configurations needed for the motherboards, it's still becoming fairly convoluted. So while that does it for today, are you excited for Intel's new Cascade Lake X CPUs or possibly something that won't be in the 5 grand range, like AMD's upcoming Ryzen 2300X or 2400X? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.